Hi everyone, this is Lilian Motambo. Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel. Um, you know this is my platform, Lilian Motams TV. Sorry about my voice. I've been going around, as you are all aware, I am aspiring to be a member of parliament for Monali constituency. So I've got a story of um, the governor who was fired by the president, Edgar Chagualongo, um, the president of Zambia. And uh, a lot of people have reacted to that. Uh, many of us were not happy, and particularly uh, the um, uh, finance minister of um, South Africa has responded. So I want to just read what he says, and I'll also make a comment on that. So here is an article from the South African news uh, page dot com where this man uh, comments about this matter. That's his um, image over there. And he says, I am in trouble. Tito Mbowani threatens to bring hell to Zambia. Uh, is there a more chaotic partnership than Tito Mbowani and Twitter? The minister's comments on his political developments in Zambia have proved controversial. Uh, obviously, people are wondering why is he bothered about what's going on in Zambia, he's not even a Zambian. But this is what he said. It's been a wild weekend on Twitter uh, where Tito Mboweni and his Twitter account, um, SS Finance Minister, had social media users uh, in stitches when he live tweeted his attempts to cook a chicken on a Saturday night. But things took um, a much more sinister and political turn later in the evening uh, when he started tweeting over what's going on in Zambia. Um, but when he went from, uh, you know, talking about, you know, food and all uh, criticisms to diplomatic disagreements in a heartbeat, and when he shared his dismay um, at developments uh, reported in Zambia, President uh, Edgar Lungo made the controversial decision uh, to fire Central Bank Governor Denny Kalialia, and it sparked a fierce reaction from Mboweni. Now, Finance Minister says that Zambia will face hell. Uh, the minister lashed out, saying that um, Zambia's president has treated Kalialia like his personal property, and I agree with that. I mean, you can't just wake up today and fire someone without any reason. I mean, this man is a man of uh, credibility and integrity. We've never heard anything negative about him except this time of firing. In fact, most people have even stated that they've never even heard of um, a Bank of Zambia uh, director or governor being uh, fired. Okay, uh, the threat to mobilize has seemingly landed Tito Mboweni in a fair bit of trouble. Uh, so he said, uh, presidents in Africa must stop this nonsense of waking up in the morning and fire a central bank governor. You cannot do that. Uh, this is not some fifth doms of yours, your personal property, no. Uh, the governor was a good fella. He stated that the governor was a good fella. Why do we uh, do these things as Africans? And it's true. African presidents, they only act where it suits them. Particularly the president of Zambia, uh, President Edgar Chagualungu, he's never acted when the young people have complained about uh, things that are going on. And then suddenly we've seen that he even issued this letter on a Saturday, not even on a weekday, but on a Saturday, fired the man. And we, we all got shocked. Zambians are really shocked about this. So the... the um, Boweni from South Africa, the finance minister states that, you know, why do uh, we do these things as Africans? The president of Zambia must give us the reasons why he dismissed the governor or else hell is on its way. I will mobilize. Now, Tito Mboweni's tweets, um, you know, sparked up a political storm um, where even Dora Solea, who is an information minister, reacted uh, to that as well. Um, but then, much like many of us uh, would have done after a heavy Saturday, but when he revisited his late night Twitter rant on Sunday, uh, but rather than express regret on the issue of an apology, uh, the cabinet member doubled down. So it was on a Saturday when he started talking, and then on Sunday he even went even worse. He stated that the independence of Zambia Central Bank is key and demanded to hear more. Uh, from financial workers. Um, so it, it, it's, it's been uh, a thread on, on Twitter where he complained about this 
and I'll be reading some of the threads that he had stated. Um, there's also um, a, 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 an article on Reuters as well. Uh, Reuters have stated that, you know, Zambian president fires central bank governor in a surprise move. It is indeed a surprise move. Everybody was surprised uh, that this man was fired. And according to, you know, sources, people have been stating that it's because he denied to print uh, loads of notes of Zambian money because the current government wants to use it to campaign and they want to use what they have, you know, their own personal money in reserve in case they are no longer in power. I think they can feel it. They can sense it that they will no longer be in power next year. OK, so Reuters states Lusaka um, Reuters, Zambian president Edgar Lungo on Saturday Samarali, Samarali, Samarili, Samarili <laughs> dismissed Central Bank Governor Denny Kaleali and replaced him with former Deputy Finance Minister Christopher um, Mvunga. A statement from State House State President Lungo has terminated the contract uh, of Bank of Zambia Governor Dr. Denny Kaleali with immediate effect said the statement, which did not provide reasons for dismissal. Kalialia, who previously served as a World Bank Executive Director, <laughs> Executive Director of World Bank, served as the governor of the Zambian, you know, Bank of Zambia, and then he is fired by the president with no reason. Uh, so he was appointed in February 2015, and his contract extended in 2018 until 2023. I mean, he's been serving as an executive uh, bank, World Bank director. That's a landed man right there. So his dismissal comes barely three days after the central bank cut its benchmark lending, lending rate by 125 basis points to 8% um, to try to safeguard financial sector stability and protect uh, livelihoods in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic. And I've shared a video on my YouTube channel that he did state, um, you know, that uh, the pandemic was not the reason why Zambia is currently facing a recession. I believe that the current government have not managed the finances well. They have misplaced priorities and that's why we are hitting a recession. And maybe that's the reason why he's been fired. So the appointment of Mvonga, who was serving as Deputy Secretary to the Cabinet in the Finance and Economic Development Unit, is subject to ratification by Parliament, the President's statement added. Mvonga um, you know, has been seen by political analysts as an ally and a close friend of the President. Uh, and you see, you don't mix pleasure with work. You know, Bank of Zambia is... Our bank, you know, our only hope of trying to stabilize the economy and they obviously are on the stock exchange. Those of you who are financially, you know, up there, you know what I mean. Um, they make sure that at least our rent is doing well. They advise the government in terms of the money and they are the ones who print the money as well for our country. So whoever is in position must be somebody of credibility. And not just anybody, because you are friends to the president. Okay, so this person, Mvunga, previously worked as a senior auditor at Deloitte and Touche uh, between 1988 and 1993 before joining the banking sector. So he's worked at Standard Chartered Bank until 2015 when he was nominated as a member of parliament and appointed, not elected, but nominated by the president. Uh, that's the difference between some of us who are fighting for an election whereby we'll be elected uh, after adoption uh, he was just nominated and then appointed for a brief stint as deputy finance minister until 2016. so there's a lot going on a lot of people have condemned this um uh, let me just read another newspaper the zambian reports um which um I think that's the one that has the tweets uh, from Boweni, where even Dora Solea was also talking her own share. She was busy. Okay, so diplom 
diplomatically, you know, <laughs> Zambia to diplomatically pursue Tito Mboweni's scathing attacks over Bo's governor's dismissal. So Doris Lea, um, Honorable Doris Lea MP, um, stated that we are very surprised with Tito Mboweni's immature and improper criticism over a sovereign decision by Zambia. A sovereign decision by the president, not by Zambia. Please don't add us. We are not part of your equation. You didn't consult us. Just like you are making decisions without consulting the Zambian people because you feel they are right. Yeah. The minister should be attending to COVID-19, COVID problems facing the South Africans. Our focus here, uh, you know, we will pursue the matter diplomatically. Okay, so the Zambian government says, so, you know, Honorable Dora Solea is a representation of the government. And she's saying that they would diplomatically pursue the matter uh, with uh, Finance Minister Tito Mboweni, who con condemns uh, the Zambian government for firing the Bank of Zambia governor, Dr. Len uh, Denny Kalialia. So Information and Broadcasting Services Minister Dora Solea has responded to the tweets. Uh, where she has launched scathing attacks. I mean, if she is professional, why should she also use Twitter to attack this man? Uh, it's like taking the Zambian government personal. And I feel she's taking it personal as well. Just like what Mboweni has said. You know, the thing is with our current government, PF, they don't like people who tell the truth. He was right. You are taking things personal. If truly you are not touched by the tweet, I mean, a tweet is a social media platform which you cannot take seriously, I mean, unless a statement or a letter, but then you react to it because you feel uh, you don't like what he said against the president. I mean, everybody can see that Zambia is in a big mess. And uh, Tito Mboweni's tweet is evidence that outside people can see, just like we have people like Sia One commenting. Now we have Tito Mboweni. This time, it's not a papa. Because some of you will say, no, because Sia One is a pastor, blah, blah, blah. Now, this is a, a minister of South Africa who has also observed that our African leaders are taking everything personal. Okay, so Miss Salia has said that the tweets were improper and immature as, as, as Zambia has a right to make a sovereign decision. You should say as PF because Zambia was not involved. As PF made that uh, sovereign decision, Abi, we agree. So Celia responded in a tweet. Uh, we are very surprised. You know, I've said that already. And then, you know, those are the tweets where they were talking about all these things. Um, and people are just laughing on uh, Twitter. People are laughing about this thing, you know. People are laughing. Those are the comments. Let's see another one as well. <laughs> the Zambian Observer. Um, just reading all these from different articles so that we can just catch up. Um, so, SA Minister of Finance, Tito Mboweni, condemns President Lungu for firing Bo's governor, Dene Kalialia. I agree. So then, obviously, the South African um, minister has said that he is not, it's not personal. So, I wanted to show you the screenshot.